All right, guys, next one. We got a series, another series circuit. This one's got two eight. Uh, this may mess you up a little bit because you can have two eight single phase. We'll have to go through that in a next, another video going through uh, single phase and three phase voltages, but you can have single phase two eight. All right, so what do we got? We got a uh, resistance value of 2200, 1200, and 1000 ohms. It's a series circuit, so there's only one path for that current to flow. So let's see. We either have the reciprocal equation or we just add them up. So let's just add them up because those electrons are going to bang into each of these guys going all the way back to the source. So RT here is going to be equal to the 2200 plus the 1200 plus the 1000, I'm all over the map here, RT is going to be equal to 4400 ohms. Beauty. So we'll drop that in here. And we decided to do the uh, total resistance because we knew nothing about the individual, individual voltages and we're trying to find currents as fast as we can and that way we can drop the current right across each of the loads. So next thing we need to do is now do our total here. Looks like we've got 208 volts. We got 4400 ohms. And if you divide 28 by 4400, uh, I'm going to use, uh, for some reason I used my sheet here, I used four decimal places. So five decimal places, 0, 4, 7, 2, 7 amps. Okay. You're getting crazy. I don't know why I use that many uh, decimal places. Anyways, uh, so we got 28, we got 4400 ohms. Uh, if we need to find our current now through each of the different elements, well, we can bring that right across. If memory serves me right, I think this was uh, an attempt to use more decimal places so that the total voltage was the sum of the individual voltages, but we'll find out in a little bit. Yeti. So we got 4, 0.04727 amps right across the board. Now be careful if you're on cruise control, then you may have a little bit of dyslexia and then put in the wrong values. Looks like we're good. Okay. Then for each of these guys, we're now going to find our individual voltages. So current, this current times this voltage gives me my first voltage of 104 volts. Beauty. So this guy has 104 volts dropped across it. Okay. Next one, if we take this current value times 1200, we're going to get a voltage of 56.72 volts. So across this guy, we got 56.72 volts. Beauty. Okay, and then for the third resistor, we got 0 0.04727 0 amps times 1,000. That obviously gives us 47.27. We'll just move that decimal place over three places. And so this guy right here has 47.27 volts across it. Beauty. All right, let's see if that was the reason why I used five decimal places. 104 plus 56.72 plus 47.27 gives me 207.99. Oh, that's gorgeous. So close to 208. Okay, so our individual voltage drops, because we've used uh, five decimal places here, they are a lot closer to 208. When I add up each of these guys, I'm getting... 207.99 volts, which is essentially 28. Very nice. Okay, so now we just need to find our individual power values. This is 2.23 watts. And for all of these guys, I am finding the power by taking the voltage times the individual current. Okay, so here we've got 2.68 watts. This guy is 4.91 watts. 104 times 0 0.04727, giving me 4.91 watts. And a total, I'm giving 9.83 watts for the total. Okay, beauty. So 
what do we got? Let's try 4.91 plus the 2.68 plus the 2.23, and that gives us 9.82 watts. So close enough. I got 9.83 here. So this guy plus this guy plus this guy is equaling my total power for the circuit. Very nice. I decided to use this current 0 0.04727 amps. That way I could go through and find my individual voltages. But again, from the, the first video there, uh, if, we, if I was asking you how many milliamps that would be, well, that would be 47.27 milliamps. Excellent. All right, guys, stop her there, and then hit play on circuit number four.